With the cold and flu season in full swing, you might reach for a neti pot to clear your sinuses, get some relief, but we're just learning a Seattle woman died after using tap water in a neti pot. Hard to believe, right? I've always been curious about using one of these. Um, KGW's Kristen Severance, she's here now to verify. Can using plain tap water in your neti pot lead to a deadly infection? Yeah, guys, you know, this headline is really scary. It says that a brain, a rare uh, brain eating amoeba killed a Seattle woman after she used a Brita water in her uh, neti pot. We wanted to verify should you be concerned if you or your family uses neti pots. According to the International Journal of Infectious Diseases, the Seattle woman used water from a Brita filter for her neti pot. A year later, she had a seizure when doctors operated they they found a rare eating amoeba. She died a week later. Her doctors admit the amoeba she contracted is extremely rare, but you still do need to take precautions. So the FDA says that neti pots can be safe, but you absolutely do not want to use tap water in the neti pot. So this is what they recommend. They say you need to boil the water for three to five minutes, let it cool. You need to buy distilled or sterile water from the store. And if you do use a filter, use a filter made to block bacteria. So we can verify that using tap water in an eddy pot can lead to a deadly infection. Some scary stuff, guys. Oh, so important and to know should, that. I'm sure it's on the box somewhere, but they should put it right under the name. I mean, Absolutely. that's what is, unbelievable. Thanks, Kristen. Kristen. Thanks.